Hi, Cameron here, registered nurse with Adaptive Equipment and Caregiving Corner. Today we're going to be talking about high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. So let's get started. Hypertension is a term that you may have heard your doctor say before, and is simply another way of saying high blood pressure. Blood pressure is the amount of pressure the blood circulating in your body puts on the walls of your blood vessels. You can think of your blood and blood pressure as water flowing through a garden hose. Imagine trying to water flowers in your yard with a hose that has too much pressure inside. The hose itself may become damaged or burst, while the water coming out may be too strong for the job you're trying to do. Your blood pressure is similar to this. If too high, your arteries may become damaged. Fats that you eat can collect in the damaged parts of your arteries, making your arteries less elastic and potentially causing blockages over time. These hardened arteries have the potential to cause heart attacks, strokes, kidney failure, and other complications in your body. While people with hypertension are often asymptomatic, the, qu the consequences of a high blood pressure over time can be serious. While most people with an imbalance in blood pressure struggle with the pressure being too high, a blood pressure that is too low can cause complications as well. Low blood pressure is called hypotension. You can imagine this issue as a garden hose with only a trickle of water coming through. You wouldn't be able to effectively water your flowers that way. And the same occurs in your body as your organs don't receive an adequate amount of blood. The perfect blood pressure is one that is strong enough to supply your body with blood and oxygen, but not too strong as to cause damage. When taking your blood pressure, you may notice the reading consists of a top number and a bottom number. The top number is referred to as the systolic reading, while the bottom number is referred to as the diastolic reading. The reason blood pressure is made up of two numbers is because our blood doesn't flow as a constant steady stream the way a garden hose does. When your heart pumps, the blood flow circulates in bursts with each pump. The systolic reading, or the top number of your blood pressure, is the pressure right after a heartbeat, when the blood has just pumped and is at its strongest flow. The diastolic reading, or the bottom number of your blood pressure, is the pressure in between heartbeats, when your heart has just pumped and is filling up for the next pump. Your blood flow is weaker at this time, explaining why the number is lower. These two numbers together give us an overall idea of how much pressure is inside your blood vessels as your heart pumps. The ideal blood pressure is one where the top number or the systolic reading is less than 120 and the bottom number or the diastolic reading is less than 80. Blood pressure is considered elevated when your readings are higher than 120 and 80 respectively. Your doctor may tell you you have hypertension when your blood pressure is higher than 130 over 80. As your blood pressure gets higher, so does your risk. An extremely high blood pressure that requires immediate consultation from your doctor is one at or above 180 over 120. This type of hypertension is considered an emergency and should be addressed quickly. Hypotension, or blood pressure that is considered too low, is typically a reading lower than 90 over 60. Hypotension can increase your risk for dizziness, falls, fainting, or other complications, so talk to your doctor if you think your blood pressure is too low. When taking your blood pressure at home, sit upright and comfortably. Make sure both feet are flat on the ground and the arm you're using for the reading is relaxed. Try to stay as relaxed as possible and avoid talking during the reading. It should be remembered that everybody's body is different, and while these are general guidelines that apply to most people, your doctor is the best person to define a healthy blood pressure for you. Always consult your doctor with any concerns you may have. That's it for today from Adaptive Equipment and Caregiving Corner. Have a great day, and don't forget, if you can't do it, adapt it.